And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Manchester United facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And the front pair, Cristiano Ronaldo, starts together with Marcus Rashford. And now Ronaldo with teammates in support. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Memphis. And given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. He's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Well, the referee took note of the earlier incident and now issues the yellow card. Frankie de Jong went in strongly, decisively. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. De Jong. Sergio Busquets. De Jong. Chance to play it in. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, not making life difficult for the keeper at all. A wide attempt. Scott McTominay. And he takes it away. It might be on for them. De Jong. It's looking promising. Big chance. Oh, chance missed. Nil-nil it remains. Well, chances don't come much better than that. What a miss that is. I'm really closing him down. Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo. And a good tackle. Jordi Alba. Now Busquets. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Must be. And a good take under duress there. Rashford. And Barcelona have possession again. Sergio Roberto. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. It's a short one. Sergio Roberto. Not sloppy in possession. And intercepts again. It is to be a throw-in. PK. Ansu Fati. On a pretty ordinary challenge. And a body in the way. Can he finish? He can't hold on to it. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, not giving him any breathing room. 
Long way out. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final. First goal of the contest. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. So on they go again. And that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, plenty to like about what Memphis Depay put into the game in the first 45. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. It's with Alex Tennis. Lindelof. Cristiano Ronaldo. Rashford. Promising looking ball. Lovely incisive pass. Well denied by the woodwork this time. Well, the keeper was beaten, but the woodwork wasn't. That's a sharp chance. Serginho so Dest. He continues. Oh, he's through here. Can they keep it out? He succeeded in getting his fist to it. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. Making sure nothing came of it. Rashford. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Sergio Roberto. Really good high press. Real chance. And a goal here. Just what Manchester United required. They are level. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So, a level contest. 1-1. Fantastic reflex action. The pie will be impressed here. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. And a substitution in the offing. to the goal that puts them ahead and De Gea absolutely brilliant goalkeeping and over comes the corner and increasing the pressure another corner it is and he clears the danger The outcome is a goal kick here. Rashford. No space for them here. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee has decided to book him. Well, it's not a good challenge, and quite rightly, he gets a yellow card for that. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. 
As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Bruno Fernandes. Shot attempted. Oh, a really crisp effort, but just wide. Coutinho. And Depay on the ball. Sergio Busquets. Rashford couldn't keep it. A chance to whip it in. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Oh, it's a penalty. And what a huge moment at this juncture. And on the back of that decision, now it's a caution. Well, it's a tight call, but in the end, I think he's got it right. A penalty. And slots it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. We've entered the final five minutes. Coutinho. Dembele on the ball. Sergio Busquets. Depay. Another goal from his corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Well, nothing comes of it. Now can they counter clinically? Depay. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And when he gets onto it... Full time then, and Barcelona will take a lead with them into the return match. Yeah, they control so much of the game. They got good service into the front players. They used the wide area as well, and their midfield players made some...